Hi Virgo, it's Ellie and welcome to your general love reading for the week of August 23rd. So let's get straight into it. Thank you so much my spirits, angels, and guides. Please tell me what is coming towards my beautiful Virgos regarding love this week. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. So do you know that this is a general reading so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure that you watch the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the week ahead. Also, I changed up the Oracle cards at the end of the reading just to, you know, mix things up a little bit. And please don't forget to like this video, um, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So, thank you so much. Um... Your overall energy is the Eight of Cups. You have the Nine of Wands. You have the Ten of Pentacles. That's not the Nine of Wands. The Queen of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and then the Devil. The Devil keeps showing up in all the read, most of the readings. I don't know. So you have the Three of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles, and then the Death. All right. Okay. Virgo, your challenge for this week is the Nine of Pentacles. So I do feel that currently you are trying to get out of that single state. Okay? You are currently... I do feel that you are currently focused on yourself, but you would want to be in a relationship sooner than you think. Okay, you would want to be in a relationship soon, and that is a challenge for you. Probably because of this pandemic, we can't really go around and go out and date people there um, then and there, okay? But I do feel that this is you wanting to get out of that solitary state, okay? So, I do feel that this is you this is your overall energy for this week is the eight of cups the eight of cups here it means you are walking away from situations that no longer serve you that you have outgrown that you have you know that you no longer find the purpose of okay you have outgrown a situation and you are getting out of it okay that is your energy for this week the queen of wands here it just means you are getting back to your old confident beautiful and magnetic self and this has you have become a lot more beautiful heartbreaks make us a lot more beautiful you have recently gone through a heartbreak all right and this is something you are walking away from um very heavily i feel it was a lot of pain there was a lot of pain and i do feel that pain has made you a lot more beautiful a lot stronger a lot more confident you realize your self-worth and you are worth more than that you are worth so much more, plus a bag of chips, all right? Okay, I do feel that there is someone who will, who will come towards you. Someone will come towards you who would want to build a very solid and stable, happy, happy family and happy home with you. This is someone who is very focused on their work, very focused on their job. And I do feel as the same, you are very focused on your job right now, very focused on your um money and independence but when the two of you would meet the time that the two of you will meet this is something that if you permit you will have a happy home you will have a happy family with this person happy and stable okay financially and everything okay money will never be an issue i hear okay for you to overcome that you have to let go of some the things that no longer serve you you really have to let go of the very stagnant and toxic energies that are around you okay and it's going to transform your life i feel i feel very heavily that once you let go of this toxic obsessive and attra attached energy that is very attached to you i do feel that once you transform it's go it's going to be a very transformational time for you okay Okay, Virgo. Let's see the overall outcome. It's actually a really good reading. 
Who is this person? Okay. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> this person is someone from your past. Okay. So you have, this is overall outcome. You have the queen of swords. You have the nine of wands and then the six of cups. Okay. Someone who I, I do feel very strongly that this is someone your ten of pentacles is someone from your past okay someone from your past would want to come back into your life someone from your past is willing to to do what it takes to work it out with you i feel because this is someone who has the eight of pentacles okay as i said this is someone who wants to work on it okay i do feel that you are still very strongly guarded heavily guarded with uh, with this person this person has really hurt you in the past okay this person has been really really uh you know very hurtful i do feel that during the situation during that time did not permit you to go on with that relationship that's why you had to break it off with this person but i do feel that this person will do everything it takes now to get you back to win you back you're very clear with what you want you're very clear with the kind of love that you want and the the out of, uh, la, la, la. I'm sorry the outcome that you want in love okay Virgo I also very feel that you are going to show a little bit of coldness towards this person all right it's okay we all become a little bit cold to people who have hurt us okay so yes let's see the overall advice of spirit but this is someone who would want to have the Ten of Pentacles with you. I kid you not. It's a very strong energy. All right. The advice of spirit is the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and then the Knight of Cups. Okay. So the Ace of Wands here, it just means that, you know, find the new passions within you. Find new passions within you. Find things that would set your soul on fire. Okay. Second advice, the Knight of Pentacles. Spirit is reminding you that whether it doesn't matter if this person who wants to come into your life, whoever this person is, it doesn't matter if he, he's slow. Just as long as the offer is stable and secure and it's just for you, this is the love for you, all right? You just have to wait for it a little. And then... The Knight of Cups here, it just means that there is love coming your way, all right? There is love coming your way. You don't need to, you know, to chase it. You don't need to look for it. Love will find you and love will, love will chase you, all right? So, let's see. Whispers of Love card. Let's pick you out a card. Okay, love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. As I said, you're very attractive. You know who you are, you're confident. You are worth all that in a bag of chips. Okay, so let's see. What aspect of love do you need to activate right now? three drops let's see so you have unity you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe unity present you live in the you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances and then detachment detachment as i said detachment from the devil all right, detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. All right, that kind of capped off the reading. So thank you for listening to this reading, Lee, uh, Virgo. Virgo. Thank you for listening to this reading, Virgo. I hope something in the reading resonated. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below on how you find this video. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. 
it would surely help my channel. Thank you so much and I love you. Have a good week and stay blessed. Thank you.